Hello and welcome back to Cape Pipe Automotive. Tonight, um, we've managed to get back down to uh, see the polo again. So what we're gonna do is start tacking the cage in. Custom cages, they want a video of the cage tacked in so they know it's in the correct position. Um, and then they'll basically send an email back saying, yeah, it's in the right position and we can fully weld it in. So we're gonna have a go at doing that tonight. Um, have a go at this uh, puzzle of a jungle gym and uh, see whereabouts we get to. I'll show you the cage before it goes in um, and we'll try and get some video of it going in and then after. So might be a bit of a late night, but we'll see. So here's the polo as before. It's not really changed much. I've hoovered out a little bit. Um, seat rails are there. Uh, I think I showed last time I've chopped a few bits out. Here's the cage we've got here. I'll back out a little bit. We've got here the main hoop and the two bars that come across the top of the doors and down through the dash. Custom cages, absolutely cracking job. And they laser cut all of these edges so they all fit perfectly where they're meant to go. They're all full of dust, but spot on job. Uh, show you these under here as well. So under here, we've got all the door bars, uh, the cross pieces, the window bar. That's that one in the middle that looks a bit bent. That's the one that goes across the top of the windscreen. Uh, we've got the cross bar across the back between the two rear wheel arches. Absolutely everything to do it. So we're going to crack on here tonight. We'll see what we can get in. Hopefully we'll get it all in, tacked in, get the video sent off. A few moments later. So now we've uh, fitted the cage. We've got it all tacked in, ready. So we're going to start taking some photos of it to send off to custom cages. Um, this is actually the second night that we've been down. Um, the first night we came down, we got the main hoop installed front bars installed as per their request and their videos that show how to fit them. Um, we went to then fit the rear bars to the rear strut towers and they were just too short. So we thought we'd fitted it slightly wrong. We've adjusted a few bits, managed to get it to fit. Um, but then the front bars then were far too out. Um, so we left it at that rather than trying to mess about with a few things. Um, we just left it, contacted custom cages. They were very apologetic. They've managed to sort it out really quickly within like 24 hours. They sent us out a couple of extra bits of metal work. We've trimmed them down. They're really nicely fitted. We've managed to get it fitted in, in there really well. And uh, we'll uh, give you a quick show inside now. So, as before, apart from we've now got the cage tacked in. So, starting from the front, we've got the front plates in. The end plates are not welded in fully yet because it's it would just create more work for ourselves when stuff's got to be moved to fully weld the cage. So they come in, they go up, they follow the roof. We've then got round here the roof rail follows the windscreen which also still allows me actually to keep the rear view mirror which is nice um, it then follows round to the main hoop and down to the floor um, we've got the door crossbars in so they look really nice just as you can see in the center they're just tacked in temporarily then round here we've got the rear stay which was like I say, it was too short, so we've fettled it about. We've got these new pipes that they'd kindly sent us so we can get it in. They're now welded in lovely. I'll take you around the back quickly. And in the back, we've got the cross brace for the harness bar, the diagonal as it comes down the car, and both upper braces there. So you've seen the cage inside, tacked in as you've seen. The next step is now for us to take photos of it in position. Everything as it is, we don't touch it now. We send these photos off to custom cages. 
they then get back in touch with us and say, yes, we're happy with the position of the cage. Um, at that point, we can then basically take the cage back out. Now, it seems a bit counterintuitive since we've fitted it, but it then means we've got access to areas such as up here in where the cage is, but we can't reach. So when they've said that, we take these out in bits, it then moves forward or we can try and drop it down to get in weld bits all the way round, And then we basically lift it up back into position, put bits back and fully weld it in. And then we're able to then fit the bottom plates to the car, fully weld it in and the cage is then done. Um, at that point then, we should then send photos again, but we'll get back in and we'll let you know when that happens. After two or three really late nights, we've uh, we've managed to weld it in. It's fully in. Um, we've got some now videos and some photos ready to send off to custom cages again. So we're just waiting on them basically to give us a certificate. And uh, yeah, we're then ready. Once we've done a few extra little bits, I want to get the inside painted, like I mentioned before. Um, put everything back. Wiring put all back. Got the seats to fit. I'm not fitting a passenger seat straight away. Um, we're just gonna run it with one seat for now. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, get you a quick run round. So here she is again, guys. Not much really changed from when the taxing um, were first done, um, but it's been fully taken out again. It's been fully welded. So we've got door bars here. I've put the seat rails in just for reference, really. Um, I had to go with a little bit of paint. Um, but, so we are fully welded in, all the way around, all the way up to the top. So yeah, we're nicely welded in. We just added a few welds up ready so I can um, paint it later on. Um, the idea now is to fully prep the inside so it doesn't, look like this um, <laughs> it's not the brilliant but we'll tidy all that up properly and then uh, we'll get it fully painted inside so it looks all nice the cage is going to get painted and uh, I'll sort all the paint out in a mo and I'll reveal the colour so this is the colour combination it's nothing fancy um, the cage is going to go literally like a five wheel silver. It's uh, it's not going to be anything spectacular. But there will be a nice contrast, hopefully, um, against the standard blue of the Polo, against the standard, well, not non-standard, silver um, of the cage. So, as you can see, we've still got a lot of work to do. But that's all the wiring we tucked all out of the way, so we... I'm going to burn through it. Start putting her back together soon. So, thanks for watching again, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help out. Um, just trying to get the channel, you know, past the 50 subscribers, which is actually quite a big, seen big number since uh, we started it back in December. Um, and it doesn't sound a lot, but for us, that's that's quite big. It's quite brilliant, actually. Um, if anybody watches the videos, anybody gets anything out of it, it's a bonus for us. So, um, yeah, we do it for the fun, and uh, hopefully you come along for the ride. So, cheers, guys. See you in the next one.